All right, right now it's six Milwaukee's police chief speaking out for the first time on last weekend's double fatal shooting that happened at El Rey supermarket on Cesar Chavez Drive. The uh, violence that we have seen in that particular situation is unacceptable. Um, that there is a, a lot of work to be done in regards to ensuring the safety of the area and also, you know, the uh, respective businesses in that area. And there is a group of residents actively trying to do that safety work. They're not getting paid for it. Most have their own full time jobs for them. It's a personal calling to break the cycle of crime and violence. New at six, Katie Crowther on the city's south side with their story. In Spanish y estamos, pues, ayudando más que and English. And we want to make yeah. sure that all of you guys can be here in the south yeah, side. Exactly. But Walter Garon and Virginio Miranda introduce themselves to every person and business they pass. I think we have to have more empathy for people. Uh, regardless of what they're doing. They are members of the Brown Berets, a national Chicano civil rights group that formed more than 50 years ago to fight against discrimination of people based on their language, accent, or ethnicity. After not being active in Milwaukee for a while, they noticed a need and reorganized with the same motto, fairness, community, service and protection. You go around and you try to find the help. You try to connect people to the help. Correct. That's basically our, our, our goal. They do not get any funding. They donate their own time and money to organize food drives and community cleanups here on the south side. We took a family from here to a church to get food and since they couldn't provide documentation, uh, they were turned down. I hated that. So from there, we started giving food, no questions asked. They also walk these streets as safety patrols and try to de-escalate any violence or criminal activity they see. The double fatal shooting of a 36-year-old man and a 59-year-old security guard here in the parking lot of El Rey sheds light on the growing need for community outreach and resources. So we're trying to prevent things from happening. And that's where mental health and people that get together here, that's what, how we can change this culture that we are living on right now. Do you worry of, for your safety? Uh, of course, every day. But they say if you're not actively involved in trying to improve things, you're part of the problem. We do this because we love our city. This is our city. This is where we walk. This is where we shop. This is where we buy stuff and why we cannot feel safe. Southside Alderman Jose Perez and Joe Costa Zamaripa are finalizing meetings with Milwaukee's police chief and mayor this week about safety in this area. We want to be part of this communication, part of the context of what we can do more, understanding that there's a lot of resources out there. The Brown Berets make this plea to them. We include people from the community like us so we can express what's going on. Some of us are here in the streets and hear people and hear what's going on. On Milwaukee's south side, Katie Crowther, TMJ4 News.